Guys, I'm telling you, this Saxon is amazing. I am learning so much right along with you because when I was in school your age, we just learned the words. We didn't learn the rules to why they're the words. So I'm telling you, I'm learning so much. So first we're going to practice with some syllables. So we know every syllable has a vowel, but not every syllable has to have a vowel. But every syllable does not have to have a consonant. So every syllable has to have an A, E, I, O, or U. Okay? So let's try this. We're going to kitten. Kitten. How many syllables? Two. Kit, it, and t in. Those both have vowels. Okay? Kitten has a vowel, so it follows the rule. School. School. One syllable. It has vowels in it. Let's clap out hippopotamus. Ready? Hippopotamus. How many is that? That's five syllables. And every syllable has a vowel. Hip, po, pot, a, mus. Every syllable has a vowel. It's amazing. So, you've already done your review cards. You've already done your high frequency. Yes, I know it's the wrong. It still fits, okay? Um, so let's practice some review words. Spell splash. Splash. You remember that's one of our blends. Sorry, guys. Splash. Splash. Spool. Ah. Shh. Okay. Let's do ship. Shh. It. Ship. Bunch. B. Uh. Uh. N. Ch. Bunch. Okay, let's try our sight words. They. Remember, we can't really sound that one out. We just have to know it. That was ugly handwriting. I'm sorry. Two. Will you go to the store for me? Six, today. Okay. Good job. Set that aside. I want you to echo these words. Has. Is. His. What? Sound do you hear in the final position? Has, his, is. We hear a Z, right? But let's look at these words. Has, his, is so we hear it in the final position but what letter is making the z sound yeah it's the s has his is so the letter s makes two sounds crazy so the letter s says s like snake and z okay so we have more voiced and unvoiced. Remember when a sound is voiced, we feel our larynx, our throat move. When it's unvoiced, it doesn't move. So I want you to take your fingers and put them on your throat. And I want you to go like the snake. Does your throat move? Mm -mm. Snake. Now go has. 
you feel it moving okay so that's a voiced s okay so just like feather the th and thimble thimble is unvoiced feather is voiced i got over here with not being prepared okay so s has a voice and an unvoice just like that so there is a rule for that okay let's look at these words that is way too big come on hendrix <gasps> it wasn't dry that's why it's called a dry erase marker it's gotta be dry so let's look at these words okay we know this is going to be short because it's followed by a consonant we know this is going to be short because it's followed by a consonant. So let's sound these words out. P ins. P ins. Pins. Do you hear the S? So it's voiced, right? So do you remember with the TH? If it's voiced, we do that. That's how we code that S, okay? Let's listen. P its. <gasps> P its. It has an S, okay? So the fact that it has an S, we're not gonna do anything to it. It's just an S. We know up here it's a Z sound, pins. So here's our rule that helps us with that. If the letter before the S, now this is, okay? If the letter before the S is voiced, then it's a Z sound. So listen to this word. P Ins, pins, put your finger on your throat and go pin, mm, pin, you feel your throat moved on the in, so pins, it's going to have a Z sound, do p its, now we say t, so this is not about if we say the sound, it's if the sound is voiced or unvoiced, okay? So listen, put your finger here and say, P it. T. Oh my goodness. And I was blown away when I did this. No lie, guys. Because I was just doing this lesson. I look over them before I do them. And I was like, but we say the T. The T is voiced. But voiced means, does your throat move or not? Not do we hear it. Voiced and unvoiced means does it make your throat move mind blown guys like i love it so p it t t t t t. i hear a sound but my throat doesn't move i never realized my throat does not move on t t. it's unvoiced t's are unvoiced in especially here p it t t. so it's an s guys i know miss hendrix is just over the top today but i really am just blown away with this learning something new every day with you guys and i love it so voiced is the z sound pins unvoiced is the s sound pits okay i know i know i can't like i'm i'm over it i'm like holy goodness wow let's get our papers back out new words We'll go ahead and do them though, since I'm here. Okay, new word, as. So put your finger up here, as. We know it's an S, but it's the Z sound because a is voiced. Okay, has, and then as, has. Okay, we're not coding here, so we don't need to code anything. Nuns, n. Uh, nuns, nuns, okay? Remember, sound these out, read them and spell them to someone tonight, okay? Over on this side, all this should be filled out already. S. 
S. We still say S when we see the letter card. Okay? Picture card, though. We're going to say rose because it's a voiced. rose -z, Because we already have an S, right, in our other picture card for S sound. Sun, S. This is rose -z, And it's the Z sound because even though we hear the O before the S, if you say R uh, rose, okay, well, it does it, so ignore it. Guys, I can't with this. Love you. <laughs> okay, 34. Our sound is Z. What are you going to tell me? When we hear Z, you say Z. But now, what two letters are you going to give me? Think about our CK. Our K sound, you tell me K comma C. So for our Z sound, the letters you are going to give me are Z and S. And then we're going to write Z comma S. Every time now, when I go Z, 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 S, Z comma S. Okay, just like on CK, we write C comma S or C comma K, K comma C. You get it. Okay, let's look at your homework or your classwork. Voiced S's. So, huh, is. His. Ah, because it's followed by a consonant, has. Okay. Vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant. Guys, you should be able to do these in your sleep by now. That means you should know these. Id, d, in. But remember, we just say double letters once. So, hid, in hidden okay but uh underline the digraph mark out the c but uh <gasps> that's a buck a buck is a dollar like hey can i have a buck <sighs> h -i or h i hi because that's an open vowel hi okay this is a blend so we don't code a blend but we know that's a dr blend this is a vowel followed by a consonant so dr um drum okay this is one of those things that you should be able if you cannot read this or if you need help reading this every word in here is decodable or is a sight word okay put on as bugs in it. See, how I did that. And the remember, it's the schwa. Now you don't have to code this. I'm just letting you know that if you need help reading these sentences, every word in here is decodable with what we know, or is a sight word. Okay, so the pond has bugs in it. A sand bass is in the pond with the bugs. The sand bass swam past a bug, but he did not get it. So a sand bass must be a because I'm inferring, I know a bass is a fish and I know fish lives in ponds. So I'm gonna take what I know plus what I read, put it together and infer, okay? So what swam past a bug? The pond, the sand bass, or a bug? The sand bass. Did the sand bass get the bug? Yes or no? 
No, it says, but he did not get it. Where is the sand bass? Okay, this is where we have to write a complete sentence. So we're going to use part of the question in our answer. So our question says, where is the sand bass? So we're going to use the sand bass and we're going to capitalize our T because it's the start of a sentence. The sand bass and look up here, a sand bass is in the pond with the bugs. So we're going to put in the pond with the bugs. The sand bass is in the pond. Remember, you can pause this to write. Miss Hendricks can write fast with the bugs. And do not forget your period. You need to make sure this is neat. Parents, if you're there and you're taking pictures, if you can't read it, I can't read it. Make them do it again. Okay, I need to see a picture of this page. And then this is your homework page. Okay, just like we coded over here, you can look at the other page. Okay, code these, draw a line to these two. Read this again, code them if you need to. Remember, this is our chef. It says shh, that's the French. Okay. Code these if you need to, read it, answer these questions, take a picture, send it to me. Good job, guys.